What's up friends? Greg Newmaster coming at you with another action figure review. Uh, today I have Star Wars The Vintage Collection 3.75 The Mandalorian action figure. I have been waiting for this guy since before Christmas when I found out that they weren't going to release any merchandise when the show came out, which is uh, kind of unusual because normally they have uh, uh, merchandise out before, um, you know, the movies would premiere at least. Um, I guess it's going to be different with the TV show. It's kind of back in the olden days when uh, Star Wars was so successful uh, and they promised all these action figures and they didn't have any. Um, so I guess that's uh, what we're dealing with with the Mandalorian merchandise. But I have been waiting for this figure. Um, thank God they uh, put out a 3.75 figure. Uh, and as one of the new ones, uh, instead of just a redo, uh, they put out the Mandalorian himself. Um, so this is my unboxing. Let's crack this baby open. Um, so here is the packaging. Uh, just a really nice card. Um, you know, it says the Mandalorian, Star Wars. Uh, it says Kenner. I think that's funny how they say uh, Kenner on there. Just like the old days, even though it's Hasbro. Um, there's the back. If you guys can see that. Um, Top row, we got Mandalorian, Cara Dune, Remnant Stormtrooper, I think I want that, uh, Clone Trooper, a Jawa, uh, what is that, Shadow Trooper, Sith Trooper, and Princess Leia at the Yavin Ceremony, if you want to get those figures. Um, so, I'm not a box guy, so I'm just going to pull this puppy off and bust him out. Oh, I've been so excited for this figure. Um... For whatever reason now, uh, they're putting uh, these with the figures, these little inserts. So if you're like a collector and you want to have uh, everything that originally came with the figure, here's this little choking hazard paper just for you, for all of our hardcore collectors out there. Um, so here we go. Oh, he looks so nice. You know, I gotta, I gotta give um, Hasbro props because uh, with these new vintage collection figures, the paint job has just been stunning. Oh, so there he is. Wow, he looks great. Um, he's in the very first armor of the first couple episodes. Um, I really hope they're not jerks and. Um, they don't make another one of him in his Beskar armor. Because um, uh, I was really hoping he'd have the Beskar armor. So here's what I've been dying to know. Is he going to be like Boba Fett? And can you take his helmet off? And no, you can't. Ah, that's a bummer. Hopefully if they do uh, another figure with him in the Beskar armor, his helmet will be able to come off. But yeah, like, uh, the helmet's like a, the paint job's like a real muted silver. Uh, it's a, it's very dirty looking. Let's see if I can, I can't even pull the head off. So, uh, what they started doing with the vintage collection is, which I don't like is, uh, cause you can't swap heads if you wanted to with the figures is they started putting the, the heads on a, uh, it's like a double ball joint. Oh, yeah okay so you see that they used to just have a round ball joint and now they have uh these double peg joints so it's uh okay i didn't break them thank god <laughs> yeah so i got this guy on ebay um i just really wanted to get him so i paid a little bit more money for him uh yeah so here's his little cape um, it's plastic. That's really annoying. I don't like that, that it's plastic. Uh, with the Boba Fett, um, they gave him a soft goods cape. So it was like a cloth vinyl thing. Um, yeah, this is cool though. He had, I love how they started, uh, they give him this, uh, articulation in the waist. So he has an ab crunch. He's on a ball joint there so he can move around. 
I don't like it when they don't give them in the hip joints too, but for the 3.75 figures, because they're so small, that's okay. Um, let's check out the shoulders. Oh, there we go. That's good. Shoulders go all the way up. So there we go. Uh, we get a joint in the elbow. Oh, see, this is a little, it spins, but, um, it's a little tight, so you want to be careful. Uh, that's some good movement with the elbow. You see that there? Uh, a little bit more than 90 degrees. Uh, you just got to be careful because, uh, this plastic is so, uh, soft it can break. Uh, ooh, he's got really nice wrist articulation. See, this is good. So, I talk about this a lot, is um, they put the cuts, they put the articulation in the top of the wrist. So, see that there? So, he can point his wrist down. So, when he's holding his weapons, look at that detail. Uh, look at that on the, the top of his glove, the little blue triangle. Uh, there's just a uh, weathering, like on a shoulder pad. Trying to look at his helmet for you guys. Yeah, the helmet's like, it's not like a real shiny silver like in the picture. Because like on the show, like he gets the new Beskar armor. And it replaces like the chest piece. Uh, he gets two new, new shoulder pieces like on the legs. But he keeps his helmet and his helmet's the same and the helmet looks shinier. Um, if you look in the picture here. Like, look at how shiny his helmet is. Um, it's a little bit dirty, but, like, the figure's uh, helmet is, uh, I don't know, it's just not shiny enough for me. It doesn't really match the picture for me. So I guess I could have done a better job on that. Let's check out this leg articulation. I'm not fond of how they do the leg articulation with the Star Wars 3.75. You see these joints here, like in the butt, like look at his butt and look at like his hips here. They kind of like turn, so they're on like a V instead of like a, a classic like leg cut. So they do that so you can kind of get them in a split if you wanted to. Oh, wow. Look at how, look at how much uh, he can bend his knees. That's really good there. Um, that's really good because typically uh, the Star Wars figures, their knees don't bend. They only go 90 degrees. So that's a really nice bend. So I am digging this articulation for him, but I still don't like, I don't like this design here. They should just do, uh, as I said before, what the G.I. Joes do. Um, I mean, yes, there's going to be a little gap. So once again, look at Snake Eyes. Uh, look at his hips. So he has full leg movement. You know, he can go up, and back, and to the side, get into a full split. And Snake Eyes even has double jointed knees. There's no reason, uh, you know, the original action figures, which are Star Wars, shouldn't have that, you know. Star Wars was ahead of the game in terms of action figures. They, they kind of started it all, I would say. Um, you guys can comment if I'm if I'm wrong about that but I mean the Star Star Wars were the first real action figures I thought um I mean I guess they had uh, the giant G.I. Joes back in the World War II era kind of thing but you know action figures as we know them uh, and and the craze of them comes from Star Wars but I love this this figure is great don't like the plastic cape should have been cloth, so they got lazy on that. Look, he has this great strap right here. Um, he's got a pouch. Uh, he's got a holster for his gun. See that right there? Um, let's bend this elbow here. That bends very good. Yeah, so the articulation is pretty good, you know, for 3.75. Uh, the other thing with um, the new... Uh, head joints is um, so you get a little bit more articulation in the head so he can go side to side up and down can't go too far up so uh, let's let's take a look at his uh, see if I can get him to stand no <laughs> 
I should have got some sticky stuff. There we go. All right, let's take a quick look at his weapons. Um, they're taped in here. You know, the, the Mandalorian's just so cool because what they did to me uh, is they took all the coolest things about Boba Fett um, that we have loved over the years from uh, the Expanded Universe, which is now Star Wars Legends, uh, the Bounty Hunter video game. You guys remember that video game, how cool that game was? I used to play that a lot. Um, and, you know, it's like, so they, they made Boba Fett new. Even though the uh, Mandalorian is not Boba Fett, they took a lot of elements from Boba Fett. So here's his blaster. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm trying to get the light better. Yeah, see, look, they even had the paint and the detail and the handle. Uh, they're just killing it with uh, these new vintage collection figures. Just uh, in, in level of detail and paint. Like, I'm just so impressed. Uh, okay, so put that blaster in his his holster there, which is very nice. And then, so going back to what I was saying about Boba Fett, <laughs> probably probably the best thing about the Star Wars um, holiday special, if you guys have ever seen that, was uh, the animated um, part with Boba Fett. And in that animated part, Boba Fett had this gun. Which, uh, his little prong forked gun. So this is, this has become the Man, uh, Mandalorian signature gun. And, uh, it is awesome. Uh, they've done such an excellent job on that show. That's the best, I'd say the Mandalorian is the best thing that Disney Star Wars has produced. Um, it is just excellent. John Favreau, um... You have my praise, man. Like, you've done such a great job. Just the level of detail, the level of nostalgia, the level of new ideas and creativity. Like, the Mandalorian has been excellent. But yeah, just look at the paint on the gun. We have paint on the front. Like, it's painted this nice little silver. Um, they even have gold, like, uh, in the scope. The handle is brown. Um, there's a little peg right here. Which I think, yeah, it can peg onto this strap just like that. Look at that, guys. So Mando can hold his gun. Um, the, only, <laughs> the only thing I don't like about uh, the Mandalorian creatively that they chose is his name. They revealed his name. I liked it when they just called him Mando, Mando or like Mandalorian. Uh, but they named him Din Jaren. Uh, I think that's what it is. It's such a stupid name. I mean, I guess Boba Fett isn't that much better. I, and I probably just like it because I was a kid and I heard it. And I'm like, oh, Boba Fett, he's so cool. But uh, Din Djarin, um played by the mighty Pedro Pascal from uh, Game of Thrones in the upcoming Wonder Woman movie. And I believe he was on Narcos as well. Um, but yeah, this is a great figure. I'm so excited to have it. I'm very pleased with it.